fructose corn syrup is derived from starch, which comes from corn. Ooh. Starch is made up of glucose, which is a sugar. And our bodies also use glucose. It's something that we run our energy off of is glucose. When we eat starch, it doesn't taste very good because we don't our, the taste receptors for glucose and the way it's structured in the starch molecule doesn't allow us to taste sweet. So a very brilliant food scientist discovered that if you, if you used an enzyme that's in the body naturally, to, you, can, you can break apart the sugar molecules. And then sugar, or glucose, is very similar in structure to a molecule called fructose. Fructose and glucose are both sugars. Uh, they're both six carbons. Fructose is, is linked together in, five, in, a, in, a, in a structure of five, whereas glucose has six in the ring. And so there is an enzyme in the body that, that converts the glucose to fructose. The reason you would want to do that is because the combination of glucose and fructose tastes sweet when we, when we put it in our mouth. Sucrose is table <coughs> sugar. Sucrose is glucose and fructose. That's why it tastes sweet. So the food scientists who discovered the fact that you can take starch, break up the glucose, and then convert some of the glucose to fructose, made it taste like sugar. The reason it was called high fructose corn syrup was because it is. Corn syrup doesn't have fructose. It's in the glucose form. So it was high in fructose corn syrup. It's not any higher in fructose than sucrose is. They're relatively the same. It's about 55% fructose in both, in both sucrose, table sugar, and high fructose corn syrup. So it's a sugar. It's a, it's a sweetener. It's more convenient for food processors to use high fructose corn syrup than sugar because sugar is a powder, and it raises dust. And when you're in a processing facility, it's much more convenient, easier, faster, cleaner to use a liquid, which is what the high fructose corn syrup is, the way that they process it, it, it turns into a liquid. And then it also comes from corn, which is readily grown and less expensive than sugar beets. And so it became integrated into the food supply in a big way. Also, high fructose corn syrup, because of the, of the, the, the nature of the, the, the syrup, um, adds some particular characteristics to food. It makes breads uh, lighter and, and more um, brown. They, it browns nicer and more evenly than sugar. It increases the shelf life, makes uh, water retention a little bit uh, better controlled in food than sugar does. So it added some functional characteristics, which is how we talk about it in the food science world. It was functionally beneficial, it was cheaper, it was more efficient to use in the processing facility. So it replaced sugar in a lot of the foods that we eat. So from a nutritional perspective, consuming a product that contains sugar or sucrose or high fructose corn syrup is equivalent nutritionally. There's no evil, bad thing that happens when you eat high fructose corn syrup. The same thing would happen if you ate sugar, if there was. When you eat fructose from either sugar or from <coughs> high fructose corn syrup, or even honey and fruits and vegetables also have fructose in them, naturally, your body converts it back to glucose. And so that's what your body uses, is the glucose. So there's nothing um, nutritionally negative about high fructose corn syrup. The only thing that we need to worry about is the amount of both of those that we consume. High fructose corn syrup and sugar both have calories, equal amounts of calories. It doesn't matter which one you consume, they're, they're providing calories. So ma managing the amount of calories that you consume is really the, the concern here, not whether or not it's high fructose corn syrup or sugar. And I think that even, you know, there. The scientist that first started the concern that high fructose corn syrup was causing obesity has retracted that um, claim. Uh, and he has now said that he was mistaken, that there really is no scientific evidence that high fructose corn syrup is more obesogenic than sucrose would be. Because there's no scientific evidence for it, and it's, it's just not logically scientific.